on the show, don't we, about how, you know, Royal Association to do your brand, you know, whatever you're doing, whether you're a pop star appearing at the Royal Variety performance or simply just meeting the royals in a lineup, you can do a lot for your business, your brand. And as we found out, even more recently, our brand new king and queen are very influential. In fact, you might say that influencers, oh, get me, down with the kids, eh? Hi, good morning. Let's have a wave today. How are you? I've just stepped away from those beautiful flowers, by the way, over there. The pollen, oh, it's floating around it. I know. Oh, shut up, Neil. I can hear you saying. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I know. Just keep whinging on. But it just makes your nose so itchy, you know, seriously. As I said before, you're like Samantha from Bewitched, you know. Then you've got the streaming eyes. People are saying, what's wrong with you? <laughs> the perils of filming out on location. Sometimes I do look at people and think, you have such an easy life just sitting in one studio all the time. But I do, as I say, like to get out and about for you because I like to show you different areas. And as ever, thank you for your very kind comments about some of the recent locations. When we get time, we like to get out and about. Now, let me tell you about this particular story because I find it fascinating, I really do. If you think about it, you know, recently, well, just under a year ago now, or just over a year, should I say, is it? Yeah, Platinum Jubilee coming up, isn't it? This little fella, Paddington Bear, saw a massive resurgence, all thanks to our brilliant uh, monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, in that great skit. I mean, it was a brilliant skit, wasn't it? Uh, it filmed in Windsor, and just such fun. Paddington once again became a global icon. Just doesn't end there though. You see, the royals are incredibly influential. Now, recently I was lucky enough to attend that concert at Windsor Castle with all the greats, Katy Perry, uh, you know, L Lionel Richie, take that to name a few, Brinterfell. And I thought um, the, well, you know, the Earl of Grantham did a splendid job in keeping it all together, particularly interacting with these, that's right the Muppets. Now, the Muppets were the big stars, let me tell you, of that show. Without a doubt, you know, everybody wanted to meet the Muppets backstage, Miss Piggy and Kermit. And when you think about it, they've been around quite a few years now and showing no signs of aging. Have you noticed that? Still look fabulous. What's interesting, though, is now the resurgence really has been the fact that TV bosses are thinking about bringing the Muppet show back in its original format. That's right. And it will be like the weekly Muppet show with the old men in the boxes, a guest star, skits, fun, all of that kind of thing. It was what made the Muppet show very successful. I know they carried on with the movies, but I did enjoy the TV series. And when you look at the big names that they had, it's phenomenal, isn't it? When you think, you know, Julie Andrews, Jack Lemmon, Raquel Welsh, just all the greats appeared and wanted to appear on the Muppets. By the way, a bit of an interesting fact, if you watch the soap opera over here in the United Kingdom, EastEnders, oh, what's interesting there is the, the wall behind on the old set, the wall behind, should I say, uh, the Queen Victoria bar, was actually the box that the old men used to sit in. And it was still there until very recently. I hope somebody's preserved that, don't you? Yeah, it's history, it's television history, isn't it? So if you're a fan of the Muppets, you can really thank the King and the Queen, the Prince and Princess of Wales, who all sanctioned the idea of the Muppets being, well, shall we say, re-emerging back onto the global stage once again. And no doubt Miss Piggy is getting ready for a close-up as we speak. And as for the Paddington, now you've got competition. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.